Okay, so in this video, I want to have a look at how good the studio sound option is. This effect, if you've watched the adverts for Descript, they kind of promote this, that whatever your audio is like, you can press this button and it's gonna sound like you recorded it in a studio. Well, let's see how it lives up to it. Slight spoiler, I have already done this once, <laughs> but the software I was using to record it and capture it because I can't use Descript because we're working in Descript didn't give me the system audio. So um, yeah, I'm through this second time. So I already know the answers to it, but I'm gonna try not to give it away. Now, when we come up here then, so what I've done is, uh, this is the media that I've brought in. We started a new project and look, I've got up here my Shure MV7 mic, you know, in a pretty good room. I have got the AC on it over the other side. It's what you're hearing now. So we've just done a recording on that. Can it enhance and help what I'm doing here? We've got a Rode Go microphone, which is the little clip on one. You'll see that in that clip. We've got the MacBook Pro mic because there have been times for me in Ecamm when I'm without realizing it, my microphone has changed back to being MacBook Pro and I just need to recover that if possible. Then I've got on my phone, I went into the kitchen, I recorded in the garden as I was walking back across and then really at the end, we've brought this, really given this a pasting, the MV7 microphone with a fan sitting right next to it. So I've grabbed all those clips, I've brought them in, it's brought them in as individual scenes and I've already applied this effect to it then. So what you do is, because I just want to apply it to a scene at a time, I, I've gone into this, so double click up here to go into this scene. Now you'll notice that over in the properties bar, there's no audio until I click over here or down in the timeline. And now we've got audio effects. So there's this studio sound that we can just toggle on and off. There is a, oh, let's turn it on and then alter it. There is actually under here an intensity. I'm having issues with it. It's giving me an echo. If I take it down to like 50%, it's like there's two different tracks playing and they're a fraction out of sync. So I'm going to dig a little bit more into this, but ultimately studio sound on and off. I want to hear what difference it makes. So the first scene is, as it says here in my script, this is my standard recording with the Shure MV7 mic. So I'm going to play it. And then you're gonna see on the screen here when I'm toggling it on and off. So this is my standard recording with this Shure MV7 microphone right next to me. It's literally that far away from me. Um, so can it even improve this? There is an air con in the background, but again, I don't think this mic overly picks that up. Uh, just curious, does it even help and improve and make a better job of Interesting. Now, when I ran this through, the problem with my last recording is I was sitting with headphones in and I was putting that in as the output and then ScreenFlow didn't like it because the output needs to be ScreenFlow. When I was listening with headphones, I could definitely hear that AC and it took it out. But I do think it sounds processed. It sounds synthesized, if you like, a bit robotic. Curious to hear your thoughts on it. Has it enhanced it? Has it improved it? It's definitely just killed that background, the room noise. We'll come back to it. Now the next one up is me. You can see me down here in the picture with my little Rode Go mic attached onto my pocket here. So I'm gonna double click on this to select it. Click up here on me. Let's turn it off first of all. So this is my example footage using the Rode Go mic sitting pretty close to me. But typically in here, I would normally say it's a much lower quality than what I get out of like this Shure MV7 that's sitting right next to me. So. The air con's on, well, you'll hear it because I'll turn it on and off. That's really impressive how that's cut that out. And I do think it has enhanced the audio in that one. This is what I'm looking at. And, you know, we use apps like Crisp that are noise cancelling apps. And it's, you know, that's, that's what they say they're doing. My challenge here in Descript is it's not saying it's noise cancelling. It's saying this is going to give you a studio sound. So I do think in this one, it definitely has done a, a lot better. And as you know, that's the challenge with you using a mic like this, it's picking up sound from all around the room. It's not great quality, sadly. And for a lot of you that are doing, maybe you're doing fitness videos or things where you need to have a, a lapel mic on or just one of these wireless ones here, I think this has made a big difference. So yeah, big thumbs up on that one.
Now let's jump across to the next one. So our third section is, what does it say here? Uh, my MacBook Pro. This has happened, you know, uh, uh, without me realizing it's jumped back to the mic that's built into my laptop sitting over there. Uh, let's run it through without any studio sound turned on and then I'll just toggle it on and off during the clip. Have you ever done this in Ecamm and uh, by accident it's kicked back to your built-in MacBook Pro microphone? Mine is, uh, I don't know, 50 centimeters away from me. Uh, yeah, this has definitely happened to me in the past. I'm just curious how good a job it could do of picking this up. Again, done a good recovery. I wouldn't want to be using this mic as my default, but I think it's, it's done a good job of recovering it there. We'll talk a little bit at the end uh, about that. Right, here I am in the kitchen. Again, not a scenario that I would ever expect to do a decent recording from, but I'm just playing with it. I wanna see how good this is and what it can cope with. What's its limits really? So here I am in my kitchen. I'm gonna turn the studio sound off and I'll just toggle it on and off. It's a shorter clip, so I might run it through twice. This is me with my phone hand holding it in our kitchen, which is quite echoey. And there's a washing machine going in the background. So uh, good luck, Descript, trying to fix this one. Incredible job cutting that sound out, but that's not quite right to me. Let's just listen to it again, purely in studio sound. This is me with my phone hand holding it in our kitchen, which is quite echoey. And there's a washing machine going in the background. So uh, good luck, Descript, trying to fix this one. I'm not loving that. It's It's an extreme raw file that it's taken and done. Yeah, do I think I could put that out and get away with it? Maybe not. Maybe if there was a little bit of background music underneath it, but uh, I think it's done a, a, an excellent job of changing it from this. With my phone hand holding it in our kitchen, which is quite echoey, and there's a washing machine. I think what it's struggled with, that, that it's an echoey room. I can still hear a bit of that echo in it, but um, Incredible job, but is it making any footage into a studio sound? Right, here I am in the garden. I know I'm being harsh. I'm outside walking across the garden uh, again. Uh, how is it going to cope with this one, I wonder? I'm outside walking across the garden uh, again. Uh, how is it going to cope with this one, I wonder? So, yeah, incredible noise cancelling. I uh, can't deny that. Now we're in the last one here and then we'll have a little talk about this. What do we think? So this is me with this Shure MV7 mic and I'm gonna turn a mic on part way into it. In fact, yeah, I have just knocked it out. So is this turn, so it's off at the minute. Let's have a listen. Same thing, we're just gonna to toggle it on and off. This might be an extreme of your MacBook Pro uh, fan kicking in, but um, I can see on my levels on here how high that is. So does it, how good a job could this do genuinely with this kind of noise in the background of me talking away, can it cut this background noise out? I turn that back off. Let's have a look. Incredible. Genuinely with this kind of noise in the background of me talking away, can it cut this background noise out? So, a summary, what do we think to this? I do think, if possible, watch this video with some headphones in and have a listen, uh, rather than just, I don't know, your laptop speakers or your phone, whatever you're watching these videos on. So here's my challenge with this. If this were promoting to be a noise cancelling bit of software, or, you know, if that said on there, audio effects noise cancelling, I'd be saying, wow, this is amazing. Where I have a slight issue is that this is really promoted as, you know, whatever space you're in, it's going to give an effect and a sound as if you're recording it in a studio. And I don't believe that to be true. What I mean is I would hate for you to be thinking, do you know what? I don't need to be buying a decent microphone because I've got a little toggle in here. I can use any mic I want. I can just use my laptop. I'll carry on or do my videos like this and um, it's going to give me a studio sound anyway. I don't think it's doing that. I can definitely hear. It's a bit like the noise cancelling in Ecamm, on Zoom even. You know, they, they, they put these sort of noise cancelling features in. I can hear it and it sounds, uh, it's, it's distracting to me. So I would always turn these things off as much as possible. So yeah, it's done a great job. It's a very powerful feature. Does it replace 
you going out and getting a decent microphone and trying to do a bit of um, acoustic work, a bit of sound dampening in the room, put some soft furnishings, some curtain, carpet on the floor. And we've got acoustic panels on the ceiling that I just made from watching a YouTube video. I definitely think you should do that. That's got to happen if you want to do professional videos. It's the same as, you know, I wouldn't expect to use my webcam or my phone and put it through an app and expect it to come out as well as what a camera like this does. And I think it's the same here with audio. It's done a very good job. It's probably saved me or it could probably save me if in the past I've done videos and without realizing it, the microphone has been that one instead of this one, or it's gone to the one that's in the back of the camera with no attached mics. This probably could save me having to re-record. I wouldn't choose to do it. It wouldn't be my primary choice, but it could save me having to re-record a video and save a bad one. But potentially even maybe you've done a, an interview with somebody on here or on Ecamm and your guest's audio isn't great, you could bring that in and uh, improve that. So I'm not knocking it as a tool for reducing that background noise and improving it. I just don't feel it quite ticks the box of this is giving you studio sound. I still would encourage you to go out and uh, do a good job of soundproofing. So let me know what you think. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, let me know in the comments, am I being harsh? Or do you agree that um, this doesn't quite replace doing a good job with a good mic, first of all? All right, hope you enjoyed that. There we go. Studio sound, Descript. <laughs>